How's it going, Winter Embers? I hope you're all having a wonderful whatever time of day it is for you. Welcome back to another reaction. And if it's your first time, welcome in. I'm Flair Unique, and today we're going to be watching... I'm Flair Unique, and today we're going to be watching Coco. I know that a lot of the other reactors have already covered this, so I'm, I'm way behind, but uh, we're catching up. You know, we're, we're doing videos way more often now, so... Here we go. Before we get started here, I want to say thank you to my Patreon members who are now listed on both of my sides. Thank you all for supporting the channel. And a special shout out to my top tier patrons. Thank you all for going the extra mile for me. I really appreciate it. From Patreon to YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, whichever social media you may be a part of supporting the channel, thank you all so much for doing so. It allows me to continue doing what I love to do here on YouTube. After we're finished with the video, please feel free to leave a rating. And the next time the subscribe button asks you to dye their hair, please don't do it in the same red color that they've always been getting. Instead, dye it gray. All right, let's go ahead and get started on today's video. A long time ago, there was this family. The papa, he was a musician, but he also had a dream to play for the world. Oh no, it's not about to be another... Don't tell me they're gonna Encanto me all over again with the father sad story. He didn't have time to cry over that walk away musician. Oh, this is very different. She's like, uh, oh well, he's gone. Gotta keep going. <laughs> She died way before I was born. Oh, she took Papa's face out of the picture. <laughs> no music. Oh. No music. She will terrorize the streets. I mean, what with the father's past? Oh, the great, great, great grandfather? <laughs> Ernesto de la Cruz, the greatest musician of all time. Right in this very plaza. I wonder if Ernesto is his father or his great 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 grandfather. He starred in movies. He had the coolest guitar. Until you're in my arms again. Okay. Hit them with the vocals. Until 1942. When he was crushed by a giant bell. I'm gonna go ahead and guess that that is not part of his family. <laughs> that would be a pretty sad way for the father to have gone out. Although he kind of abandoned the family, though. <laughs> Look, if I were you, I'd march right up to my family and say, Hey, I'm a musician. Deal with it. I could never say that. I don't think he's met his grandma. She ain't having it. Show me what you got, muchacho. I'll be your first audience. Oh my god, don't let Well, I see this. You're gonna have some problems if she shows up. Miguel! <gasps> oh, what I say? Oh... <gasps> no! <laughs> he wants no part of your music, Mariachi. You keep away from him. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, I knew it would not be good. How did I know she was just gonna show up? <laughs> it was too early for us to hear his skills. What's tonight? Well, they're having this talent show. You have to have talent to be in a talent uh, show. Don't tell him. Don't tell anybody. Dia de los Muertos is the one night of the year our ancestors can come visit us. We've put their photos on the ofrenda so their spirits can cross over. I don't want you sneaking off to who knows where. Huh? Where are you going? I, I thought we were done. <laughs> oh, no. Papa is coming home? No, mama. It's okay. I'm here. Who are you? Oh, no. Miguel? Huh? Miguel? Miguel can't keep his mind together. He's he's he wants to go to that talent show. <laughs> You're right. That's just what he needs. Okay, so the missing father is actually the great grandfather. Then wait, no, it's his abuelita's mom. So yeah, great, great. Okay, I was right. Just kidding. <laughs> the rest of the world may follow the rules, but I must follow my heart. You know. <laughs> He's got he's got skill. Look at him go. I can't I can do that if I wanted to. Oh, they need to let him participate in that talent show. Mama, where should we put this table? In the courtyard, Nikos. You want it down by the kitchen? See, uh, next to the other one. <gasps> you better not. <laughs> Miguel, uh, nothing. Praying, praying, having a moment. It's time you joined us in the workshop. Stop carrying on the family tradition. Puppers, stay right where you are. Stop. Oh my god, no, 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 no. Do not burn, do not burn. Oh my god. 
Oh. Wait. Hold on. De La Hit it. Cruz's guitar? Papa. Papa. Oh, it is. Oh, it is. It's in your blood. It's in your blood. I'm gonna be a musician! You're gonna fall. We've never known anything about this man. But whoever he was, he still abandoned his family. Doesn't mean that he's gonna abandon you guys. You want to end up like Oh, come on now. Oh, I don't like that. <gasps> oh, no! don't. No, uh, uh. oh, come. You feel better after you eat with your family. I don't wanna be in this family! Miguel! I mean, you broke his dream right in front of him like that. I think the turnaround was a little too quick to try and be lovey-dovey. I need a guitar just for a little bit. Get out of here, kid. Wow, let's not be rude now. Offer to play for somebody really quickly so they'll have a, they'll have some reference, a point of reference. I'm sorry. Seize the moment, but be careful, beware. Abuelita in the chanclas, she's gonna find you. Only problem with this is everybody will recognize that guitar. Wait, hold on now. I'm gonna play in the plaza, just like you did. He's gonna communicate with them. Whoa, wait a second, what you got there? Now, right. wait. Who's in there? Uh, I can explain. Wait, what the hell? Did he? Huh? <laughs> he became a ghost? Thanks. I. He, oh. <laughs> <laughs> not, not today. Oh, Jesus. Do you mind? Not like this. Oh, he really is communicating with the spirits today. Miguel? Miguel. <laughs> You're here, 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 and you can see us. <laughs> Remind me how I know you. We're your family, mijo. <laughs> they lose all their skin, but they sure do keep that hair. Oh wow! Isn't that beautiful? I'll go for it. Go, I would go. I, I gotta see all that. Look at all the lights. <laughs> I, I can't resist it. I would have to go see it. Ah, uh, so colorful, so beautiful. Mija, it's not nice to stay like that. <laughs> <laughs> Ay, Santa Maria. <laughs> oh, your photos are in your son's ofrenda. Have a great visit. Oh, that sucks. If someone didn't put up their picture, they can't pass through the gate. This is like an amusement park for them being able to go home. Design Frida Kahlo. Oh no, stop. Looks like no one put up your photo, Frida. Okay, when, when I said I was Frida just now, that, that was a lie. You know what? I'm just gonna zip right over. You won't even know I'm gone. <laughs> oh, he's making a run for it. Now, what happens at the bridge? Just a little further. <laughs> no passage. Then what did you do in your life? Nobody wants to put up a picture of you. Anything to declare? Uh, as a matter of fact, yes. <laughs> Hola. <laughs> I don't think they prepared for a live one to come back, to come through to their side. Oh, mi familia. They wouldn't let me cross the bridge. Tell this woman and her devil box that my photo is on the prenda. <laughs> well. And her devil box. <laughs> I couldn't cross over. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. He kept the photo. <laughs> what happens at sunrise? Híjole, your hand. Huh? Oh. Oh, no. Uh, oh, Miguel. That is the proper reaction. I give you my blessing to go home, to put my photo back on the ofrenda, and to never play music again. Uh. What? You didn't need to add that part. He's not gonna agree to that. Does he have to agree to all the conditions? No skeletons! 
mariachi plaza, here I come! Oh, you're gonna do it again? This is what got you there in the first place. You already break your promise. This is <sighs> fair, it's my life. You already have yours. Oh, it's speaking the truth. <laughs> I could really use an amigo right now. And amigos, they help their amigos. Wait a second, what if this is really his father? I'm starting to feel like maybe he gave that guitar to De La Cruz. You really know De La Cruz? Who wants to? <laughs> You're alive! Yeah, I'm alive! He's my great-great-grandfather! He's your great great grandfather he's your what Oh. Oh, uh, yeah, right? <laughs> you can help me. We can help each other. But most importantly, you can help me. Miguel! Huh? I met him. Uh, that's nice! Yeah. Oh. Yeah, he seems like... Oh, you only got the arm. <laughs> yeah, this, this dude seems like the personality that would have been fitting for his father who left the family. <laughs> very skittish, very... He's very determined. <laughs> no one's ever put up my picture, but you can change that. This is you? Eh, muy guapo, eh? That's... It's gotta be... Cool off, Chamago. Come on, I'll get you to him. How? Because I happen to know where he's rehearsing. <laughs> Got a little magical monkey. Dancers emerge from the papaya, and the dancers are all me. Oh. And her milk is not milk. It's you? Oh, dear. Oh, I was gonna say. It could use some music. Oh, uh, what if you did like. Tung, 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 tung. <laughs> And what if everything was on fire? Uh, let's, let's not do that. And Ernesto de la Cruz rises to the stage. Just no fire, please. Don't, no fire. You're never getting in, chorizo. Hey, it's chorizo! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Very funny, guys. Why is he chorizo? Ask him how he died. I don't want to talk Did about you? it. He choked on some chorizo! <laughs> Hold on now, wait a second. <laughs> we can, we're not making that, we're not making that joke. <laughs> not dying choking on chorizo. <laughs> you make it so hard for me, you. The ones with no photos or friends, no family to go home to. Miguel's hands are changing. They're becoming way more bony. Buenas noches, chicharron. I don't want to see your stupid face, Hector. Come on, it's Dia de Muertos. I brought you a little offering. Get out of here. I... Why are you laying in that hammock with all that filth? Oh, oh. oh. You okay, amigo? Uh, I'm fading, Hector. I can feel it. Wait, so the dead die even further? And her... Knuckles they drag on the floor. Those oh, wait, what is Gracias. Oh no, what is this? What does this mean? That he's Did nobody put up his picture for a long time or something? Wait, what happened? He's been forgotten. Oh. And there's no one left in the living world who remembers you. You disappear from this world. That sounds terrifying. I could remember him when I go back. No, it doesn't work like that, Chamaco. Our memories, they have to be passed down by those who knew us in life. Oh, that sucks. That's... that's terrible. <laughs> that's a horrible thought. Welcome to the Plaza de la Cruz. Showtime, Chamaco. I'm still wondering how he's gonna convince his abuelita that he she should let him play instruments. How's he supposed to beat that? They got an entire banda. And you've never done this before? I'll go up. No, I need to do this. Oh, his whole hand. His whole hand up to his arm is now bones. Rito. Come on, yell, belt it out. Go! Ah, <laughs> oh, feels good. Okay, now, now, now you. Oh. <laughs> oh no! Okay, well you know, there it's it's the spirit that counts. Take him, listen, Chamaco. You got this. De la Crucito! De la Crucito, I'm surprised everybody just accepts it. Like, oh yeah, he's he's definitely related to him. 
Okay, you get go go ahead. You tell me that it's red, I'm mi amor, I'm mi amor. Me un poco loco, un poquitito loco, un poco loco. Look at him. <laughs> you better dance. There you go. <laughs> living kid about 12 have you seen a living boy i mean just look at the stage they really avoid music that much they won't even look at the stage oh uh, don't you worry they haven't looked at the stage not once i'm not gonna miss my one chance to cross that bridge because you want to live out some stupid musical fantasy it's not stupid i'm taking you to your family let go of me Yo. you only care about yourself Keep your dumb photo! No, no, no. Stay away from me! Another quality that matches his father, only caring about himself. This nonsense ends now, Miguel! I am giving you my blessing and you are going home! I don't want your blessing! Miguel. Your blessing needs to change up. Just just a little bit. You gotta change it. What? Music's the only thing that makes me happy! And you you wanna take that away! Okay, well, you sing too. But when we had Coco, suddenly there was something in my life that mattered more than music. I was starting to wonder, this whole time we've been watching Miguel and I've been wondering where's... Where's the part with Coco? That's the whole title of this movie. So, so then Coco is her daughter, sadly suffering from, uh, looks like dementia. Hey, musician to musician, I need a favor. Congratulations, Chicos. Oh, no, he got in with them. <laughs> Oh, okay. That's the way to get the party started. Well, this music is my language and the world is me familia. This music is my language. Oh, no. Oh, you were doing so well. You were doing so well. You you are that boy, the, the one who came from the land of the living. Why have you come here? I'm Miguel. Your, your great, great grandson. That's not. <laughs> I have a great, great grandson. No, no, I don't think it. Is it? Is it really? It is a no, no, senora. Gracias. Not again. You and your Frida, you're not. <laughs> Do they not know the difference? One cannot deny who one is meant to be. And you, my great great grandson, are meant to be a musician. Uh, you can't just bypass the fact that you left your whole family high and dry. <laughs> oh, the fireworks have begun. And did he really, at like, he so happily bypassed that, like, he didn't do something wrong there. It has been an honor. It's not, it's not you. Very soon. He said, I hope you <laughs> die very soon. I mean. No. <laughs> Miguel, I give you my blessing. We had a deal, Chamaco. Who are you? What is the meaning of this? Oh, Frida. Stop. <laughs> My songs that made you famous. What? If I'm being forgotten, it's because you never told anyone that I wrote them. That's crazy. Oh, no. I, I only sang your songs because I wanted to keep a part of you alive. Oh, how generous. Miguel can put my photo up Hector. and I can cross over the bridge. Somebody has to remember you, though. And you told me you would move heaven and earth for your amigo. That's Don Hidalgo's toast in the De La Cruz movie. This calls for a toast to our friendship. <laughs> I would move heaven and earth for you, mi amigo. That was very convenient that that part was just up and ready. You want to give up now when we're this close to reaching our dream? This was your dream. You'll manage. I can't do this without your songs, Hector. Did he kill him? I'm sending you off with a toast. Oh no, you killed him. But I felt a pain in my stomach. I thought it must have been something I ate. Perhaps it was that chorizo, my friend. Or something I drank. 
And then he put the story on him that he died by chorizo. You're confusing movies with reality, Hector. Uh, you told the story the way it was. <laughs> How could you? Hector! Security! Security! No, he is rightfully upset. He was going to go back to his family. I just wanted to go back home! No! Aww. Oh no. So that means that the last person with his memory is the mother, is the great grandmother. I would hate to have you think oh, that no. you murdered Hector for his songs? <laughs> no, yeah, we do. <gasps> oh, I thought he was gonna rip it. You have to be willing to do whatever it takes to seize your moment you never had the power to send him back anyhow that's so messed up no! ah! i'm doing this all based on the thought that that hector is his father instead but if his great great grandmother dies then that's all of his memories gone nobody else in the family even speaks of him hector kid oh hector you were right i should have gone back to my family hey. Oh? Oh no, yeah, yeah, no, he's... I thought something magical was happening, but that's... I just wanted to see her again. I wish I could tell her that her papa was trying to come home. That he loved her so much. My Coco. Uh-huh. Where did you get this? That's my mama Coco. That's my mama Imelda. Is that... Oh no, <laughs> that's sad because this gives me the, I already know what this setup means. You know the worst part? Even if I never got to see Coco in the living world, I thought at least one day I'd see her here. The moment she's gone from the living world, you disappear. Oh, and that makes it even worse. Yeah, when she passes over, he disappears. It's not even his fault. For even if I'm far away, I hold you in my heart. Remember me. Papa. Though and she was so young. Look at her. The only way that I can be. Oh my god. Stop. Oh. That's so sweet. You should be the one the world remembers. I didn't write remember me for the world. I wrote it for Coco. My whole life, there's been something that made me different. It comes from you. I'm proud we're family. With this connection that they had, I'm surprised that she would let it go at all. I mean, I was very young when my father passed and I was close to him and it, it doesn't matter what anybody says. I still love him and I still think of him to this day, very often. I gotta remind, gotta remind uh, his daughter somehow about him. Okay. You knew he was my papa Hector the whole time! You are a real spirit guide! And there it goes. Okay, I was like, where? <laughs> I was like, and the intelligence left. So does that mean he was of this world the whole- oh. He'll get it. So he was actually a spirit guide this whole time. Then did Hector not tell his family what happened? Because it kind of seems important. How many times must I turn you away? Imelda. I want nothing to do with you. Oh, I can see why. He was just trying to get me home. Nothing is more important than family. Now, the story needs to come out. Hector should be on our ofrenda. He's part of our family. He left this family. He tried to go home to you and Coco, but De La Cruz murdered him. There you go. Tell, tell it. And so what if it's true? You leave me alone with a child to raise and I'm just supposed to forgive you? No, <laughs> he was coming back. No, 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 no. Get that photo. So what do you do with De La Cruz? Because the problem still remains. People won't forget him. The plan, find it. Just photo. Give it to Miguel. Send Miguel home. Got your pedals? <laughs> now we just have to find De La Cruz. Yes. Ha! Oh. That's for murdering the love of my life. 
Who? I'm the love of your life. I don't know. I'm still angry at you. <laughs> You're related to Hector? The photo! All right, now hand the photo over. I'll get that ass boy. You said love of your life? I don't know what I said. <laughs> That's what I heard. I say forgiveness is on the... It's on the horizon now. Ladies and gentlemen, the one, the only, Ernesto de la Cruz. Not exactly. Sing! Sing! Might as well, I mean, you're out there. Don't you guys ruin the show. I... Yeah. Oh? <laughs> Llorona de Azul Celeste. <laughs> Just... Wait, she got some style too. Uh, the mic. Move. That song was meant for him, not you. <laughs> you still got it. Too bad they couldn't have sang together that would have made a completely different type of future and he probably wouldn't have died for it to put up our photos and to sing I and never never play music again to never forget how much your family loves you hey. now get that photo over there you're not going in i swear to god if you don't just get in your own business you think I let him go back to the land of the living? And you're alive. The real musician, you're just the guy who murdered him and stole his soul. Murdered? I am the one who's willing to do what it takes to seize my mm. moment. You're spilling all the tea on stage. Ah! No! Ah! Miguel! Miguel! Ah! Okay. <laughs> I, I completely forgot about that one. <laughs> I was like, they're not about to let him die like this, are they? Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they kind of, they, um, everybody saw. Go get him. <gasps> oh, isn't that how Very appropriate. Now just leave him under there. Oh. Hector! Hector! Coco. No, 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 I can't leave you. I promised I'd put your photo up. I promised you'd see Coco. We're both out of time, mijo. Oh, he's changing too. Go home. I promise, I, I won't let Coco forget you. <laughs> I hope that that was not Coco passing. Hey, hey, hurry, hurry, hurry now. The song, the song. He doesn't have the photo, but he does have the song. Oh no, she passed, didn't she? That's the only- Where have you been? Ah, I need to see Mama Coco, please. <gasps> what are you doing with that? Not now, not now. Is she still alive? Please tell me she's still alive. Remember, Papa? The song. Please. The song. If you forget him, he'll be gone. Forever, Mama Coco, please don't forget him. Come on now, you know the song. You heard it. Miguel, you apologize to your Mama Coco. Yes, yes, you know what to do. He wanted you to have this. <gasps> Mama, stop. Oh, sweet Jesus, you stop. I have to say goodbye. Remember me. She's coming around. Though I have to travel far, remember me. Oh my god, yes. <laughs> You're in my arms again. Oh my god, it's so touching. <laughs> yes, thank god. What's wrong, Mika? Oh my god. Nothing, Mama. Nothing at all. And she even remembered her. Does... Do you have the picture? Does she have a picture? Poems he wrote me. And... Oh, you put that photo back together. Oh, Jesus. Because <laughs> I was like, how's, how are they going to keep the memory going if they don't have the photo? Thank you. Home of the esteemed songwriter, Hector 
Rivera. And they changed it up. <laughs> She's passed. Now that you guys getting me all snotty nose and stuff. Enjoy your visit, Hector. <laughs> they restored the photo. My, my cheeks are gonna hurt. <laughs> Look at him go. That was so sweet. <laughs> oh, the sweet part with the, the him singing to his daughter. Alrighty, so this one was very different for me because it it feels so personal. <laughs> part of it that really killed me is the thought of them not remembering him and especially that he wanted to be there with my parents. They had their differences and they ended up divorcing. Um, but I know that underneath it all, my father loved me and he would love to have me and my brother and my sisters with him, you know. I, to this day, don't know everything that happened. All I can say is that I do know that he loved me. I would hate to think of him being forgotten, even with my kids, you know, they'll never get the chance to know their grandpa. But I still tell them stories about him and everything. I make sure that he's not forgotten. I was, what, seven or eight when he passed, when he, when he passed. I still, to this day, I miss him so much. This, this movie just made me think of him. I, I had to hold that back. I would get completely distracted if that's all I really thought about. I don't know, I, I'm locking up on this one. It's, it was beautiful, it honestly was, and I'm glad that it had the ending that it had. I had a father who loved me, other than my father that passed before him. It just reminded me of him too. And I, I luckily, you know, I got to go see his, I went to his gravesite, now resting in a very beautiful place. I just wanted to take a moment in this video then to dedicate my love to them my biological father and my father-in-law. I just, I hope that I make them proud and that no one is gonna forget them. Not as long as my family will keep this going and I know that my kids will always remember. I'm not going to do the outro outro today. I'm just, we'll leave it at that. So, see you guys next time and bye for now.